What's going on guys? Sean here and this is going to be an epic unboxing. This stuff was sent from my buddy Micah over at the Millie Club. He also has his own company called Caracol Customs. <clears throat> Excuse me. He is the one who made my custom stone holder. He also donated two of those for the giveaway. And I believe in this box is something that he wants to contribute to the giveaway possibly. So we're going to check this out. And in this box right here, we have it. It's a box full of fucking knives. So a lot of cool knives in here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. And if you're wondering why this stuff is packed up this way, it is because this is the proper way to send knives, especially if you're sending some expensive stuff because you want your knives to be safe and secure in their travels. You don't want to be relying on United States Postal Service to keep your knives safe. Have to be very careful opening these up. All right, what do we have in this one? Oh, oh my goodness. I'm sure he's getting a chuckle right now. Watch me uh, struggle. Ooh, that's cool. TRM Adam, I believe. This is one I haven't checked out before. Very cool. And this is a Boker, a big ass knife right here oh very drop shot oh i think the one that i'm looking for is in here one of these knives is something that i would consider a grail knife and it is one that i have not experienced before holy crap guys Check that shit out. This is the only one that he sent in the actual um, box for the knife. Um, I suggested sending them wrapped up instead of all in boxes to save space and get more of them in one box. Save money on shipping. But this is part of the Grims Grimsmo experience. So definitely wanted to check this out. In the box and wow that all right let's take a second and just admire this this is how they send these knives that that is how a high-end knife should arrive to you look at that some really nice foam that is cut out they come with a Torx driver they come with nano oil and okay wow all right i'm not going with whoa holy crap <laughs> i was not expecting that i barely touched that flipper tab and that thing just came flying out look at that blade Look at that fucking blade. Drop shot. All right, guys, hold on a second. My daughter's making way too much noise in the background. All right, guys. Wow. This thing. This 
That is smooth, baby. Let's look at these tolerances. <laughs> That's insane. Thumb stud. Excellent. Reverse flick. Whoa, baby. That that's really crazy. Now the detent, it feels it feels light, but not in a bad way. This is something that I have not <laughs> experienced before. Where the detent is it it feels like it's almost too light, but it's so damn smooth and it it just flies out. Um hard to put into words. All right, so this is more of just an unboxing and a little bit of first impressions because this is a lot of knives, but I'm going to be doing individual videos on all of these. So that's something for you guys to look forward to. Don't want to get hung up too much on any one specific knife, but out of all of them, this one deserves some recognition. This is another good one I've been really wanting to check out. All right, so nice smooth action. Very, very slim. Whoa. So the detent is a little bit light on this one as well, but no issues. Right, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, ho spider code bombshell also known as the danger pickle now that has a nice feeling detent that is really cool I am excited to check this bad boy out and let's see what else do we have in here Mm -hmm. Oh ho ho. And a Chavez tack, I believe. Damn. All right. This might just be a Chavez that I can really get down with. Right off the bat. Look at that blade grind. Beautiful compound grind. Nice swedge up top. Some nice well spaced out jimping. We have a nice big choil i guess you could call that it's not a finger choil but your edge clears that plunge grind by a lot so it's going to be very easy to sharpen it all the way to the heel let's see fairly drop shut the detent on this is very good the flipping action is very good lock bar access very good Nice. I think I'm really going to like this one right here. Really, really cool. All right. This one's pretty cool too. I, I got to say, it's kind of ugly, but this is pretty badass. I don't know if I would want this in my pocket all day, but I'll tell you what. This is a pretty serious knife. Shh. Pretty fucking serious, if you ask me. And last but not least, let's crack into this one. Oh, snap. All right, guys. Check this out. So not only does he make custom stone holders, he also makes EDC trays. 
and I believe there is a couple of these in this box. Let's move this stuff out of the way carefully. We got one right there. Whoa. Oh, snap. And we got one right there. So. I'm not sure if one of these is for me and one of them is to give away or if they are both for the giveaway. So I will find out. But look at this. This is pretty cool. It's like a metallic. And these are um, 3D printed. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so huge thank you to Micah. Huge shout out to Micah. His YouTube channel uh, name is Party Pickle, I believe. I got to double check. But um, yeah, great guy. And my daughter is whining in the background. And it's starting to really irritate me. Um, not the fact that she's whining, but just the fact that she decides to wait till I'm trying to do a video to do that. And it, I mean, I know God says, you know, we need to be patient and love is patient. Love is kind. And I try to live by that. But, you know, sometimes it is difficult, especially when. You have a little baby whining in the background for no reason at all. But no need to rant and carry on. Waste your guys' time. Um, yeah. So awesome knives. There will be videos coming up on this stuff. I'm going to be doing reviews of everything individually. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.